Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this session, we will discuss exercise 7.8. That is an exam exercise from chapter 7 of additional mathematics course for IGCSC and O level students. Uh, here, every problem uh, is appeared in the as uh, appeared in the in the. Uh, Cambridge exams either in IGCSE or O level. So these all questions belongs to uh, either IGCSE or O level exam. Mostly IGCSE. So uh, the question number one: uh, the point P lies on the line joining A, uh, that is minus two comma three, and B ten comma nineteen, such that E P and colon pb the ratio of ab and pb is 1 2 3 show that the x coordinate of p is 1 and find y coordinate of p so x coordinate of p is 1 and find the find the y coordinate of p so we have to find the y coordinate of p well the we have to show that the x coordinate of p is 1 In the second part find the equation of the line through P which is perpendicular to AB this AB that is perpendicular to this AB the line through point P through P which is perpendicular to AB meets the y axis at point Q find the area of the triangle AQ and B <coughs> so let's go to the problem number one this is the problem we have given this uh, a and b this is given minus 2 and 3 and this is 10 comma 19 and uh, this is a point that a p and p b is this ratio in the 1 2 3 so this is given a p and p b this is p b we can see that it's more three times more than this a p so a p uh, divide by AP plus PB is equal to 1 1 plus 3 so this AP is 1 and PB is 3 times so this is uh, ratio is 1 by 4 so this AP is basically 1 by 4 of this line segment so from A to B we have divided into 4 segment uh, 1 segment 2 segment three segment and four segment so this part is basically ap is one fourth of this ab ap is one fourth of ab so this is basically the ab so the midpoint of a and b is m this midpoint is m which is <coughs> four comma eleven obtained from a and b so this midpoint is obtained and again the midpoint between a and m is p this p point is the midpoint of this and this so this p point is obtained as uh, 2 comma 2 2 upon 2 by adding this a and p points m points and divide by 2 to obtain the midpoint so this is 1 comma 7 so the coordinates of p is 1 comma 7 it has shown that the x coordinate is 1 and the y coordinate is obtained as 7 so this is the part 1 in part b the gradient of a b is 4 upon 3 the gradient of line perpendicular to a b the gradient of the line that is perpendicular this the gradient of this is given from this to two vertices we can obtain the gradient of this line and we have to find a line that has a gradient that is perpendicular we have to find the gradient of this line that is perpendicular to this uh, li uh, line so the gradient of a b is uh, 4 upon 3 so the gradient of the line perpendicular to a b is uh, minus 3 upon 4 because of this so we have to make it uh, inverse and minus sign so the resultant of these two will be minus 1 since there is, uh, since the line is passing through 1 and p and this the gradient has obtained and this passing through this p point 
so this p point is obtained as 1 comma 7 so the equation can be write down as y minus 7 this is 7 and x minus 1 this is 1 and the gradient is minus 3 upon 4 so this is 3 upon 4 so now simplify it this 4 will shift here and by simplification 4y minus 28 minus 3x plus 3 and we shift this to the right so it becomes 31 4 3x shifted on the other side so 3x plus 4y is equal to 31 let the point q passing through the uh, perpendicular equation this point q this q point is on this side this q point so it's passing through this uh, <coughs> value so let the point OQ passing through this perpendicular equation so we'll place it 0 and this is Q so Q is obtained as 31 upon 4 so this is Q is obtained as 34 upon 31 upon 4 so 0 and 34 is available this point and the point area of AQB so we have to find the area of this triangle <coughs> have to find the area from a q and this b oh sorry p or q let's see this uh, a q b so this is a q and b so we have to find the area between this this and this point so this makes a triangle and from this triangle we have to find the area so we'll place this the area of delta triangle a q b one a this is uh, vertices of A, this is Q and this is uh, vertices of B and repeat A. Now we'll multiply this and this, this and get results this. So this multiply with this is here, so this multiply with this is 0, 10, 30, this is and then this multiply with this 0, this multiply with this, this, this multiply this. So this is the uh, minus sign and uh, this is all obtained as 12.5 units on simplification we obtain this uh, the second questions and let's solve uh, uh, the table shows the variable v and p v and p and the values of v is given and p is given by plotting a suitable straight line show that v and p are related by the equation p into p is equal to k v uh, power n where k and n are constant use your graph to find the value of n the value of p when v is equal to 35 so we have to find the value of v uh, p when v is equal to v is equal to 35 we have to find the value of p it should be around here so we can estimate it so let's solve this question number two uh, v is given as 10 this information is given and uh, this p is related with v is in this x uh, power relation or linear relations and taking log on both sides so we take log on this side take log on this side this equation becomes this now uh, this log v and is obtained as this log p in this so we take the all values of log and this is log p and this is log v the gradient is is uh, obtained by subtracting 2.30121 and uh, 2. Uh, 0.0412 1.977 here so this is uh, negative slope and it is shown here and this 0.672 and in place of this gra uh, gradient we can place it so this is gradient and this is log v this is log p and this is uh, uh, the, the point that it, where it is passing through so this is 1 and 1 1.97 <coughs> so this point this is the point where it is passing through so we'll use this this and this so and the gradient is obtained this so now simplify this by shifting right and left and this log p is equal to 0 0.672 log v 
and this is 2.65 <coughs> now v is equal to 35 now place v is equal to 35 and uh, so this log p is equal to this 0.672 this is here and log v is 35 35 is here so this is 2.65 and from this 2.65 we have this log p is equal to this log v is obtained and this value is obtained as uh, some values that is uh, and taking the 10 power p and 10 power this so taking 10 uh, power this and 10 power of this value so this is uh, 10 uh, power 1.612 by adding this we get this and this p is basically 41 so this p value is obtained 41 at v is equal to 35 so and this is k is uh, obtained as this k is 10 power 265 because this is 10 this is 10 this is 10 power 2.65 so this value is k so this k is obtained as this log k so this is log k is this so 10 power this log k is equal to 2.65 so this k 10 power this is k and k is 446.7 so this is k value and this is p value Let's go back to problem statement and this is uh, let's solve question uh, uh, 4 mm, the variable x and y are such that y is equal to a b uh, power x where a and b are constants and the diagram shows the graph of l and y against x this is l and y this is x and passing through the point 2 comma 4 and 8 comma 10 so find the value of a and of b so we have to find the value of a and b <coughs> so so this is a y is equal to a b power x taking log on both sides natural log so ln uh, a this is x ln b and this is ln y is plotted like this so gradient is obtained as 10 minus 4 8 minus 2 so gradient is 1 so ln y minus 4 ln y minus 4 uh, 1 is a gradient and x minus 2 this is 2 so this is passing through this point so this is ln y in minus 4 is equal to x minus 2 so this 4 is shifted on this side right side so x plus 2 ln y y is equal to e power x plus 2 so this is uh, uh, e power 2 and x so this e power 2 is a so e power 2 is basically a and this is uh, b so b ln b is equal to 1 so this is ln b is equal to 1 <coughs> this is ln b here it, it was b right so <coughs> so this is this is uh, ln b is equal to 1 so b is equal to e power of 1 so b and a values are this way uh, let's go back to <coughs> question number six table shows experimental values of two uh, variables x and y this x and y are given and it is known that x and y are related by the equation y is equal to a upon under root x plus bx where a and b are constant 
complete the following table. So we have to make this table from this table. So this x under root x and y under root x is plotted here. On a grid plot, y under root x against y x under root x and draw a straight line graph. So <clears throat> and use your uh, your graph to estimate the value of a and b and estimate the value of y when x is equal to 1.5. <clears throat> so let's go to question number 6. So this is x and this is y. y is equal to a upon under root x plus bx. So y is equal to a under root x. So we multiply this, take LCM. So a plus b x under root x. So this y under root x is equal to a plus b and x under root x. Now we have to plot this x under root x here and y under root x here. So we will plot. We get this value x and y to make this plotting. So by using this information we can draw this equation. So we can uh, draw this table. Now from this table we will plot and we, have, we see that this is a straight line. This x under root x and y under root x this gives a straight line. And from this we have the gradient. Gradient is from this point to this point and from this point to this point. So we have this gradient obtained and from this gradient we have write down this equation y under root x minus 3.4 is equal to 4.4 x under root x minus 1. So this is plotting passing through this point. So from this we have this equation y under root x equal to 2.4 x under root x plus 3. So a is 3 and this b is 0.4 so from this d, d part a y is equal to uh, we have to find the value of y when x is equal to 1.5 so in place of this x we will place this 1.5 so we will shift and divide it from this equation divide by under root x under root x so this under root will cancel and this under root here so it gives y is equal to 3.05 so this y value is this so that's all from uh, this uh, in the next session, we will discuss uh, some other problems of this uh, exercise.